Well, he arrives now, and with dignity, he will recognise the honour being done to him as king by the Republic of France. Kingdom and France will be played. First of all, the King and Queen, with the President and his wife, will take their position for the salute. The two heads of state will inspect the Tri Service Guard of Honour, and this is a traditional respect being done to the arrival of the visiting head of state. And you were referring to the friendship between the president and the king, hiding his majesty over. Of course, the president speaks excellent. And not against princes, put your arm around the king. Nobody worries about things like that. For the Queen and Brigitte Macron, the chance to go and meet those who've gathered, including former President and others. Francois Hollande, I believe, there, the first to greet them. The importance of the tricolour is so immense to the French and those who serve. And the King doing his respect to the colours that are lowered in salute to him. Anthem, the Marseillaise. So the national anthems of both nations having been played by the band of the Guard Republic, the king gets the chance to head back into the great scene that we have here and the chance to inspect all those who have turned out to make this greeting to his majesty. And the two heads of state looking into the eyes of those servicemen and women and the musicians. And now pass along the lines of the troops who 
have lined up here and have been preparing for this honour to the king. He's no stranger to these military parades. The troops, the parachutists and all those service men and women who are here have in some regard, particularly through NATO and through other involvements, work very closely with the armed forces of the United Kingdom. And the King, who himself served in the Royal Navy, will on many occasions have served with or worked in line with those who are from other navies of NATO, including the French Navy and also the Air Forces of France are on parade to give their salute to His Majesty as this tri-service honour is paid. For the Armed Forces of the United Kingdom, there are a lot of very specific links to the French Armed Forces, and during this ceremony today, the King will have a chance to meet some of those who come from the organisations with particular links to the United Kingdom. Normally, this area of France is one of the most terrifying roundabouts probably in Europe but cleared completely of all forms of traffic today in order to provide this honour as the King is now led by the President towards the tomb of the unknown warrior laid here underneath the arch in 1921 and carved into the top of the tomb in French the words here rests a French soldier who died for the fatherland 1914 to 1918. First of all, a wreath will be laid by both the President and the King. It will be laid in place for them by these two members of the French Armed Forces, and then together the two heads of state will touch and make their personal expect. A bell will be rung and a minute's silence will be observed. First of all, the king will relight the eternal flame. The eternal flame is extinguished in order to give particular honour to visiting heads of state when they relight it on behalf of the United Kingdom or France.
the French choir will now sing the Marseillaise. de France flying over followed by a salute of the Red Arrows. And the President will invite the King shortly to sign the Golden Book for those who have been received in this way as the blue, white and red smoke merges into the distance above the Louvre and down the Champs-Élysées. 